There we go. Hi, everyone. Uh, so I'm Neil Shelley with Dyn. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about a problem we were having this year. We, uh, we were approaching some issues with one of our platforms just in terms of Vine's uh, load time. Uh, we were, uh, I think we had about 110,000 zones at the time and ultimately our, our servers were just taking a real long time to start up. There we go. Uh, so at the time, uh, just starting the, our, one of our name servers on this uh, on this platform would take about 45 minutes and sometimes longer, which from an operational standpoint was just really annoying. Um, we would be sitting there waiting to watch, you know, watching it to make sure that when it was really up, it was it was uh, up. Uh, in our case, that you know doesn't happen terribly often, but whenever we had some sort of patch or some sort of reboot necessary for on those lines or just regular maintenance it was it was a lot more weight than it needed to be on our team and at the time we were also looking at importing a lot more zones to this platform so whereas it was 110,000 zones we had the potential of in uh, importing another couple hundred thousand zones soon um, and obviously future growth is also useful so we were looking at this problem and trying to figure out what we can do about uh, name server load times uh, a couple of the ideas that we had come up with uh, mounting the configuration uh, in the zone files onto their own partition with no A time set. Uh, we had done this in a couple spots around our network already, just anywhere you're looking at loading a lot of files, um, not necessarily big files, but just doing a lot of small file access, then that, that that's helped us. The hardware in particular here was getting a little dated. We were uh, approaching end of warranty on machines. It, it was due for a refresh, and obviously just buying new hardware is gonna buy you something. Uh, on that new hardware, we looked at getting SSD disks because, again, if, if we can make the actual loading of the zone files a little bit faster, it would be worth it for us. And while we were looking into this, uh, the, one of the more interesting things uh, was that ISC sent us a note about a new patch that had uh, come out in bind 9.8.1. 9 um, so kind of got added in at the uh, last second as one other idea we can use to really improve the uh, load time. So this patch had to do, uh, the uh, link there is to a blog post about it, but ultimately they, they told us about uh, up to a 98% improvement in lo load time, which seemed like kind of a big deal, and it was. Um, so we started evaluating things. Uh, I hope I'm not surprising anyone too much by saying that the, the bind patch from ISC really did work. Uh, it was a one-line patch. And um, so all, all the other results I'll show both with and without the patch because generally speaking they all improved things but they also all improved things a lot more with the patch. Um, so with just no A time we looked at uh, our, our servers like I said started off taking around 45 minutes to load just changing that mount option on those uh, on those partitions got us about the, uh, well, got down to the high 30s. wasn't a huge improvement but it, it did help. Uh, and the improvement would have been a lot more significant with the patch too, so that was relatively easy, that was painless, that was free, that's something that you know anybody can do if they just happen to be running a DNS server that doesn't really get a lot of love but happens to have a lot of zones on it and you start to have issues with it. Uh, well. So the hardware platform, this uh, slide seems to have gone off the bottom here, sorry about that. Uh, so the hardware platform, like I said, we were using some machines that were starting to get a little dated. They were uh, dual core, dual dual core processors, four gigs of memory, and uh, a SATA mirror for where they store what, what they use for desk. Uh, so we we had been working on uh, deciding some new platforms for some of our name servers. Um, we went with was uh, dual uh, x5650 processors, so the six cores each and the machines themselves had 12 gigs of memory. And we also, like I said, we were looking at SSDs. So uh, they, they came with a SAS disk just for normal use, and then we also got an SSD in there to store the configuration on them. So no real surprise when you upgrade the hardware a couple of years more in the future, things go faster. Um, so we were able to make a pretty good improvement just by that. And again, when you look at it in com combination with the patch, we were able to get even more significant improvements. So, you know, now that 45 minutes that an engineer was sitting there waiting for a server to load, we could uh, 
just with the, the hardware upgrade, we were down to 15 minutes or so. Uh, definitely a lot more preferable. I hope I'm not surprising anyone to say that SSDs tend to be kind of fast. So when we take that new hardware and we actually use the SSD, uh, you know, the, the, the first, last slide was just using the SAS disks in there. So yes, fast, but made a big difference to actually swap over to the SSD. And I figured it was worth showing a graph for that. Um, but yeah, now you've got your disk access speeds a whole lot less noticeable. And uh, again, load times start going more and more down. Um, and that got us down to the, you know, the eight minute range. So already got pretty significant improvements. And finally, the uh, 9.8.1 patch. Um, so this was literally a one line patch to binds code and it's relatively easy to backport uh, if you don't have the capacity to upgrade right off the bat or if there's something holding you back to the 9.6 or 9.7 series. Um, the patch has to do with the way internally bind does some of its threading and uh, internal task management. It had uh, had basically been hard coded at eight tasks at a time that would take care of whatever things the name server had to do at any moment. So the actual loading of zones and all that stuff came into play. Um, 9.8.1, it was changed to an automatically calculated value, but you could also just pick a number. And if you picked a number and it happened to be better, then you would get a lot better improvement. Um, so I tested with a couple different numbers. The, the instructions uh, in that blog post were something along the lines of, I think it was for the number of zones you've got divided by 100, and then a slight advantage if you pick it a prime number. But uh, we, I, I, I found just using any big number honestly made a really big improvement. So it didn't even matter so much that you picked the right number as much as you just moved it up from eight. Uh, so here you can see the patch combined with all the different things we were doing. Uh, just the old servers on RAID. Like I said, you can see at the left starting at almost 45 minutes. Uh, the new servers using the SAS. Again, you've got an improvement of almost, uh, well, easily less than half the time just switching to the patched version of Bind. Again, a free upgrade. Um, the new servers with the SSDs goes down from you know that eight minute load time to, I think it was about a minute 50. And the last one I just throw in there because if you, uh, one thing I noticed with the new systems, we've got with about 12 gigs of memory, they actually had enough memory in them to store not only the entirety of the zone files, but also uh, the entirety of the disk cache that contained the zone files. So when my testing methodology was going through them and it just started up named, killed it, started up named, killed it, and was just timing how long it took to start, um, it made for a good comparison of just how fast it was bind was loading those zones because the subsequent loads, it would have everything in disk cache. It would never even bother reading the disk. Even if it was on SSD, it was still faster, just coming out of straight memory. Um, so it gives you an idea that that's exactly just the patch right there. That, that takes out the disk subsystem entirely on the, uh, the furthest to the right slide there. So ultimately, that patch makes a big difference. And again, it's a free upgrade. You can change one line in the source code when you install it, and you're good. So this is details about the, the, the disk cache itself. That just comes with being able to have enough memory so that your disk cache doesn't get cleared. But it, it, from a realistic standpoint, that'll never happen in production. From um, a useful standpoint here, it was good to show just how much improvement is coming directly from that patch as opposed to uh, otherwise the hardware improvements and the, uh, the no-way time improvements. So anyway, the conclusions, we were able to pick up about 11% just with no-way time. So there, that was one of the free ones. Combine that with the patch and you've got 25% improvement in load times. Uh, that alone was worth it just from our engineers just sitting there twiddling their thumbs waiting for a name server to load, um, especially as we started adding more zones. Uh, these tests were all done loading almost 200,000 zones from one of our platforms. So, you know, it, it, that 43 minutes just to sit there was kind of painful, but uh, dropping that down to uh, was be about 33 minutes, I think, with those two options alone, and you've, you've at least made a pretty big dent. Uh, the new hardware, if you've got aging hardware and it's just time to upgrade anyway, then yeah, again, you get a big improvement. Combine it with the patch and that improvement becomes even more significant. Uh, SSDs helped a lot, but in the end, you know, kind of just all those things, we were able to bring that uh, load time from, well, from that 48 minutes to I think a best time of about a minute 50 seconds, and it's really doing the exact same thing. It just happens to be doing it a lot faster for relatively little investment. 
I don't know if anyone has any questions, but ultimately, that, yeah, we found that was pretty helpful. Any questions for Tom? Neil? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> looked right at you. All right, thanks a lot, Neil.